Wow, we. Wow, we, baby, baby. The greatest regret of my life has to do with just generally the concept of not fully exploring topics and then not engaging again in a sequel. I don't do sequels. You don't do sequels? No. No. <laughs> Actually, what do you think about? of All Stars as a sequel? Yeah. You know, Jodie Foster doesn't do sequels. That's why she didn't do Clarice again. Clarice? You have very Diane Sawyer right now. You think Barbara I'm Wawa. Diane Sawyer. You're Diane Wawa. Baba Wawa. 60 minutes. I can't do her. I said that, 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 that. That's my Baba Wawa. Well, we have fun. Ow! Oh! Oh, whoa. Hey, fellas. Do you like big, juicy <laughs> Trixie Mattel. <laughs> you didn't know, did you? <laughs> She has a masters, okay? Follow her. <laughs> Give the big girl some shots. The <laughs> good and juicy. <laughs> Fellas, do you like big juicy <laughs> Trixie Mattel. And you will never believe that I am the only woman to own and operate a gas station. Katya. <laughs> and welcome to mm. the show where we talk about whatever we want. Because it's our show. And not yours. Vroom, vroom. Oh, Ampo, oh, Ampo, oh, Ampo, oh, Ampo. Disappointment. 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 When was the most recent time you're, you're de like, not devastated, but disappointed? Well, here's the thing. I can be very disappointed by very little. Oh, I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Depending on the mood I'm in, like the other night I ordered Taco Bell in the middle of the night. Mm -hmm. And about 30 minutes into waiting for it, it got canceled. I was in a pretty good mood. I didn't care. If that had happened to me on a day where I really needed that food to get my mental psyche together. Wait, disappointment. Deep disappointment. Devastation. Devastation. That's the lizard brain. This is your lizard face. <laughs> <laughs> I hide my human brain in the hair. Yes. I can't uh, think of the true, I mean, God, I would say losing Drag Race was probably one of the biggest disappointments in my life. You what? What are you talking about? When you I first it. lost it, like season seven. Oh, you were never gonna win that though. <laughs> I didn't know that. Oh, come on. I, Mom. Roll the tape. <laughs> I the had mystery. no way of knowing. Um, yeah, you're right. Looking back, yeah, delusion. I mean, delusion. But it turns out this is my arena. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot judge a fish by its ability to transcribe. <laughs> right? <laughs> Is that how that's that goes? the proverb. Yeah. That's the proverb. You can't, you can't judge a witch by its ability to suck Jesus's. <laughs> <laughs> Mary, I'll one up you on that. I'm yeah. having to look down the, the very clear and um, present barrel of going home second. That was crazy. There's gonna sound so dramatic, so gay, so ridiculous, so hyperbolic. That was absolutely the worst moment of my entire life. I don't blame you. When you know you're going to bomb and there's nothing you can do about it, you're so disappointed in this moment that's not even real yet. And then you get re-traumatized by the actuality of it Almost getting like imprinted. Almost like you had a premonition. It was crazy. It's like fear about the best of you. <laughs> Thank you, Mother weird. Goose. <laughs> What Thank a you, weird Mother like, Goose. left field. By the way, you never chime in. Never, and, never and this the, is the 742 most. episodes. Never a comment from the peanut gallery. He just looked over Looks and said, Looks like fear well, got so. the best of you. <laughs> I was like, is there an old man in a trench coat and a flash? You know what that reminded me of? You can see Katya from oh my your house. <laughs> What about live events? Things you've gone to see, shows, movies, anything that you've had big expectations for, and then what? Oh no, are we about to be honest at the gig? Are we about to tell the tea at the gig, mama? Ah. I went to see Chicago. Who was in the cast? I went for our very talented friend, Todrick. Oh. Who was great. Okay. Who was- Many who was... other people in the show I thought were not great, and I left in intermission. And then after the show, Todrick said, you want to come to the stage door? And I said, I can't, I already left. And I've been living with this lie ever since. <laughs> I felt so bad. Todrick was one, I've seen Todrick in Kinky Boots. I've seen, yeah. he's amazing. Very course. talented, very talented. And then the other girl, oh I, just, I just was not. <laughs> you got goofed in the secret. Oh my God. My six years. Have you not come clean? Did you tell him at least? Are you lying right now? No, he doesn't know. <laughs> He doesn't know. True, this is piping hot tea. <laughs> I know. And by I'm the way, scalded. <sighs> I think I will say this. I Did you lie? It. Did you say I have I have diarrhea? What did I, you say? It might even have been a comp ticket. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> well, I mean, I'm. I, you did what you did, and at the end of the day, it is what it is. What about, I mean, one of the, one of the ultimate disappointments, everybody's a liar on the internet now. Go meet yeah. your fave at BeautyCon. Actually, go meet us at DragCon. You'll be disappointed. You'll be like, oh my God. Talk about pulling away the curtain and like, like rubbing away the veneer of gloss and glamour. What a disappointment it is to meet a drag queen in real life. Drag queens should be met the way God intended. Not at all. You're drunk. <laughs> it's a club. It's loud. There's smoke. Or through a confession window. From very far away. <laughs> bubble. A bubble boy. Yeah. We have to talk about sex. When you take your clothes off, do you worry about them looking and seeing that fried chicken and jumping out the window? Oh! Do you worry about them seeing the coca van and jumping out the f window? <laughs> you get concerned. The last week's birth bourguignon. <laughs> do you worry about Yesterday's them seeing that bending over, bend over and peeping that croque monsieur? <laughs> Or that croque madame. Once they get a whiff of that bouillard best, they are gonna hit the port and say, uh, yeah, no, no. Once they get into that steak free, no, no. <laughs> sis. I... Once they lick up on that pomme de terre, they're f out of here, bitch. Do you worry about the nudity? Do you worry about the reveal? Because you don't like to send nudes. No, I, no, because my body feels good. No, 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 no. no, no, seriously. So my body might not look good without a tan. <laughs> no, 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 I'm serious. I'm, 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 I'm white and pasty and Irish. It's, it's at any given point, it's not. Translucent. It, yeah, yeah, it's not something that's attractive or unattractive. It's just, that, it's like marble wallpaper or something. A peeled you know potato. I mean? You know what I mean. A peeled but potato. But it feels pretty good because there's muscles there oh, and you can oh. feel it in the dark. Do you know what I mean? Ooh, like yeah. the musculature feels like, oh, this person's Ooh. probably fit, whatever. Ooh. So darkness oh. greatly enhances my, um, or the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or the lack of disappointment, let's say. I always found that I, I exceeded people's expectations and, and hardly ever people were disappointed. I love, yeah, yeah, because you say when you're in drag, the men would always be like, oh my God, you're even better looking in person. I mean, I've told you that men had the gall and audacity to, to say to my face that I was an unclockable woman in the light of day. See, I'm all for compliments, but at that point, Let's, no, we it gotta feels stick like to reality. I, no, it feels like, oh God, are you having a psychotic episode? Like, are you detached from reality? I hope they were like, wow, I would never know <laughs> you're not a woman. To be fair, it was extraordinarily dim and there was at least eight feet of distance, but- A tea light candle but that was, in the apartment next but door. But Mary, it was post coitus where all of this was gone. And I had a significant Why regrowth. Why with this part of your face? Oh, I mean asthma, I'm like a motorboat. Right. Two minutes in, if they're clean and dushed and everything, this is gone. I don't even bother with the lipstick, no point. You could yeah. put makeup remover on the cheeks and then eat the and come out fresh, so fresh and so clean. Give a little makeup, a little Neutrogena panty with a, a, an assless panty. Yes, take, <laughs> take two Kotex pads, soak them in Mike's cellular water. <laughs> and put them on the ass and go in. Or give them a little Shu Amora oil cleanser massage. Yes, and, and eat, that eat that Coke Oban. Eat that Coke Oban, which I think is chicken with wine. It sure is. Okay. Yeah. When I realized I was gay, very young, I was rather disappointed around my teen years when I started to realize it wasn't gonna wear off. I would tell myself like, oh, it's a phase. I'll grow out of it. I'll, I'll get into girls when I get older. And then when it, I remember being like 16, being like, like my Uber that never showed up. Wow. My straight Uber. That's, that's deep. So I was a little disappointed eventually and I was like, wow, so this is like not something I can just not think about. It's gonna be a problem forever. Uh, Isn't that bleak? I mean, but probably a lot of people thought that 10, 15 years ago. I don't know anybody who ever said, thought that way. I was in school trying to learn PowerPoint. That's and I'm like, fantastic. okay, okay. <gasps> I'm gay though. Oh my God, it's what am I gonna do? It's still happening. Right. Oh, the other thing is, because I'd be trying to type and my wrist would be like, oh, it would, oh, yeah, it's just too much. Uh, uh. Honestly, adulthood period can be disappointing because when you're a yes. kid, you have a very idyllic idea of what adulthood is. Well, you think you know what you're gonna know what's going on. You think that you're gonna be somebody who's like, well, I'm a grown up, so I, I don't worry about anything. I understand everything. And yeah. The older you get, mm -hmm. the more you realize you'll never understand anything. And wine will never taste good. I thought that's up for debate. If it didn't get you drunk, would you drink it? It depends. I always love my wines from mm. usual wines. <laughs> my favorite time of day is night. <laughs> <laughs> I developed a grim technique when I was in my teenage years. This is grim. And I don't, I don't suggest it. I creatively brainstormed every possible negative outcome. My anxiety was so much over trivial stuff that I was like, what's the worst that could happen? Well, let me list it. 
and I went down the list. How did the list help? It, it, in the end, it doesn't because all you do is just end up in morbid fantasy. But it was relief. If you expect the worst, it usually doesn't happen. You know happen. what? I actually like that. Paint well, it to be worse than it could possibly be and then be pleasantly surprised. But cumulatively, what you end up doing is spending most of your time in morbid fascination of, of reality that doesn't exist. But it burns calories. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> I've been disappointed. Do you want to talk about food? Let's talk about food. Mike and Patty's sandwich shop at the corner of something and something in my neighborhood. Rich. The Bay Village. <laughs> sounds rich. Oh, no, I, I, it was like a four by four little sandwich shop on the corner of a... It sounds like that. Okay. I was kidding. Okay, okay, Mike okay. and Patty's. Okay, oh, right. I, oh, that's right. It sounds... It's not Natasha and Matilda. You don't like, understand. It was very Natasha. affordable. <laughs> so they had this pulled pork sandwich with pickles on this bun. And when I like something food-wise, I just ride it until the wheels literally. You don't know about her. Like they skip town. But this, this, this sandwich, it was so good. And it was the perfect lunch. It was the perfect lunch. I hate lunch. Lunch sucks. I, long story short, they didn't have it one day and I almost cried. See, you need to learn to tell stories like that. <laughs> You're but, like, this was the year. But there's more. Kennedy was in the White House. <laughs> I was living on Lampkin Lane. Any advice out there for people getting through a disappointment? I'm telling you, I'm telling, this is a, this is a phrase that is, has blew my mind and does every day. Expectations are just premeditated resentments. Let that sink in, it will change your life. Seriously. It makes a lot of sense. It's and incredible. Do the work. Think about how you built up that to be yeah. what it wasn't in the first place. And then don't let it happen again. And then you can be delighted or astonished or surprised. That's why in relationships when they end, I think I'm never bulldozed. Mm. Because you're I'm in not the Mary in the bulldozer. Bulldo <laughs> yeah. I'm not like, well, we're in love, so everything works out. Yeah. Because I'm a grown up. And you're a realist. Yeah. I'm a realist. Yeah. First, first things, things first, easy yeah, does. Drop it. this and let the whole world feel it. Oh, is that Igloo Azalea? Yeah. <laughs> Nothing's promised, know. except Stop pubes. Pubes. Those are coming whether you I like it or not. I hate that word, pubes. Pubes. You got a little pube in your head. You <laughs> a little pube in your little head. Look at your pube. Pubes. Ugh. Yeah, I got a trim. I look like I've like a, a lot full of taco meat right now. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> it's like a Carvel ice cream cake. <laughs> All right. Ah! Yeah. <laughs>